Hi to all out there from the rainy Upper Franconia. Um, the weather is perfect to build some batteries and uh, that's why we go to the basement. Let's go. So here we are again in the basement. Uh, next to our uh, battery we um, started to build yesterday night. Um, sorry, um, uh, I already uh, make tension to all the cells and put the put the bars uh, or the linker boards on, on top of there. Um, this is what I did not uh, um, record it by, by now, but um, yeah, maybe we have the chance on the third battery to do so, but um, I think it's quite straightforward. As you can see, linker board A, linker board B, I gave tension to it, put everywhere the epoxy sheets in there and the EVA foam tapes, and um, yeah, um, that's it for now. What we will do later is, um, we will um, put on the, the bus bars, the flexible bus bars, which are included in the package um, to all the cells. Uh, you have to make sure that you have the right orientation. Um, you can check this by getting the manual. Uh, here you can see the orientation where the plus and minus uh, uh, poles should be. Um, this is right. Uh, one thing to mention, Really um, follow follow the their guideline by the steps because here the first step a little bit of fun fact the first step is put the four bottom pads below and the bottom pads are are here and and on each corner of the case yeah uh, a little bit struggling I'm a little bit struggling uh, when when doing this with uh, around about 100 or 120 kilograms in there. So it's possible, but it's not a fun. So do this really like uh, in a manual described. Um, okay, then let's go. Uh, we, I want to prepare today the, um, the front plate with the BMS, um, with the BMS and uh, the display and uh, the flexible bus bars in there. And um, yeah, let's, start right now one thing to mention you can see this here um i mentioned it i think uh, in a earlier video but um he doesn't include any uh, button for the reset button so i show you soon how this looks like if there's not a button um what i did i designed one which is fitting exactly the the knob on the on the uh, bms and uh, it's fitting also here in the, in the frame, so um, yeah. Okay, let's put all the stuff away. And put something in there where we, that we don't get scratches on the, on the uh, plate, on the front plate. Got them, let's check. Ah yeah, okay. I think we start with the terminals. So these are in here, so you need two black ones, you can get these caps off here easily, and two orange ones, make sure there is a, make sure there is a, a, a ceiling in, in the back here, I hope you can see it. Maybe I turn the camera a little bit and uh, this should be in there, so, okay, give me a second, let's do it like that, much better, to few, good. So those have to be in from the, from the front and here on the right side. have to be the two orange ones on the left side the two black ones um as this here is a, a, a rectangular so um be aware that that it's oriented like this not like this because the bus bars have to be connected uh, later uh, on the back side so let me check this here you can see i didn't orient it in the right direction like this it should be Okay, good. Then we need the M4 by 12 millimeter screws. 
Is that that? And those here, so... So, right now the four terminals are in there. Next thing will be um, the fuse holder. So we have the fuse holder here. For the fuse holder there are only two screws in here. These are I think M4 by 8 or something like that with a little bit of wider head. So um, these are for the fuse holder. What you should do is what I did yesterday: go with a um, with this 45 uh, uh, degree uh, drill in there and make the make the sharp edges away, so it can a little bit wiggle and move in there. So um, that's helpful later to put the bus bars on, as those are not uh, super accurate, but we can deal with that. Okay, or maybe I let them loose a little bit, make this later. Good. Then, next thing is the screen. Uh, also, a hint here there is a, a kind of protective layer on the screen. Um, I would recommend to get this off before you put it in. Uh, because it's quite hard to get it off later because the frame is a little bit narrower than the display and then it's really hard to get the protective screen or pr protective layer off so I do, do this right now and we need also something before because you have the four buttons here and we should do this I'm not sure if you can do that later i think we can do that later also let's try it like this so we will put this here then i have to check what kind of screws we need um, and three by eight so let's check what kind 
kind of screws those are. I could only feel that. I'm not sure. No, they are not. So these are the elements. They're right. Okay. These are the screws for the bus bars on the BMS. And now we need to take these knobs here because those have to be sticked in from the front on these buttons. is not really good and we have to I have to open the screws again to get it oriented correctly because the knobs are not really fitting well in the holes <coughs> so maybe it's better to have the knobs uh, on there before you place it Orienting. Good. Let's check if it's no. Good. Okay, then we need next uh, BMS. So I have the 200 ampere uh, surplus BMS here, and you can see here, um, you can see here the the reset button, and uh, I will place right now directly the my 3D printed one on it. So it cannot you cannot put it in later on because it has a little bit of widener base 
by the base, so okay, yeah, like that. And for this, we need also the three by eight millimeter screws, the same we had for. Same we had for the LCD screen. So I need six in a count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six of those screws. Okay, so let's look on it from the front. Right now the, the address uh, dip switches and the LEDs are in the right position and the reset button is there. So perfect, good. Then let's go on. Yeah, right now we can you can start con connect the the uh, linker board cables which have to be connected to the linker boards. Um, let's do it. And it's uh, even how in what sh what kind of plug you use because it's the same one by one pin or cable is the same. So put that on. Then we need um, the power button, this one here, there is a nut in there, so we have to put this in from the front, like this, Second, I need a flyer. This one has to be connected to that plug here on the BMS. Then we have we need the cable for for the screen. And this is here. OK, 
Okay, and this has to be connected to the side of the screen here. It's a power supply and communication with the DNS cable. Okay. And now we need the bus bars. And I think we have to adjust or modify those uh, also because on the first case I realized that the bus bars are not fitting 100%. Um, season was my contact, my direct contact at uh, um, Eel Batteries. She told me that uh, they had some quality issues with those and uh, she will send me two new ones. But uh, I think we can somehow modify those, especially this one here, which is connected here to the to the uh, BMS and to the uh, fuse holder. This one is not fitting correctly. And the other one is that here, because this has to be connected here to the shunt. And let's see what kind of diameter we have, because this slotted hole up there is 4.2 millimeter wide and the problem we have this screw is a m5 screw so five screw uh, five millimeter screw in a 4.2 millimeter hole will not fit yeah and it's exactly like i said so I have to modify at least this one here, no, this one here, and that one here, because I show you what's going on here, and that's why I, I did not tighten the screws here on the fuse holder to have a little bit space and wiggle it, but um, if you put this here, you see that the, even if I bend it, I cannot get the Mounting screws in here. So, what did I do in my first uh, case? I widened here this hole a little bit. It's not a perfect solution, but uh, for now, it's uh, until the new bus bus arriving, it's uh, it's fine. So I pause the video right now and do modifications to both of these uh, bus bars, and then I will continue. Okay, um, I'm back. So. Um, I widened right now this hole here on the bus bar, which is uh, which needs to be installed on this position here, and um, also this hole here to fit the five millimeter screw in the right position. And uh, let's see if this is all working like it should be. And therefore, I'm positioning it here, and it looks good so far. Yeah. So let's fix the fuse holder first then we need the uh, three of those here oh perfect I don't recommend to put to really bring it under tension or something on it and um, this is not uh, if you have the same issue this is not good it's not good for the solder points here in the BMS and the BMS board itself uh, yeah. tension or so is not good on, on such boards so Good. Perfect. Then we have the nut here. But before placing this, we need to install here also the other bus bar to the plus terminals. Um, this is that here. And it has to be like this. Okay. We need we need uh, 
the short screws here because the longer ones are for the you have short ones and, and longer ones the longer ones are for the for the terminal and these are for the back of the terminal to connect the bus bars so and here you need to tighten those you need a 14 millimeter wrench no oh i'm wrong it's a 13 millimeter okay interesting in my first case it was 13 millimeter uh, 14 millimeter maybe they changed also the screws in here We need on this side. Okay, now we can place the fuse. Two hundred and fifty ampere fuse. These are the 14 millimeters here. Exactly. Yeah. These are 14 millimeters. Good. Everything in there tight. Perfect. Okay, then we have this here. This is the modified one, so the screw right now is going in. have to be a little bit careful because it's flexible but not really really that much so that we don't destroy any parts here on the on the BMS itself. Okay. 
There's some quite, uh, quite a little bit tension here on the bus bar, but yeah, like that it should be fine. Now this has to be fitting like that, and this one like that. Yep. Position of the last one because it looks a little bit weird. Interesting, so they are showing different kind of uh, bus bars here. You can see this one has a, a additional bend and this one doesn't have. So I have to check. Okay, I just checked on the other battery I already finalized and it's the same bus bar. But as they show here in the manual, a different kind of uh, bus bar. And um, this should fit much better than that one here. But um, I got it managed on the first battery, so why it shouldn't work like that? But um, I will give this information to to my contact on from Eel, and maybe they also sent me the right modified bus bars they show in the manual because it's a little bit. It's not not really good. You can bend this a little bit to the minus or to the plus plus pole of the battery to this one here but um yeah it's not really the way it should be okay where we have 
have the screw in, we are done with the front panel so far. Everything is mounted, everything is fine, looks pretty. Yeah, so we can put this as next step into the case. So I will stop the video now and um, let's do another video mounting the front blade and uh, the bus bars uh, to the battery case. So see ya. <laughs>